Hey guys, Neon Nezzy back again with another Destiny 6 video. Today's video isn't going to be that long. I want to make it pretty short. Um, first of all, I just want to tell you guys what happened yesterday, why I didn't upload a video. Basically, I had to wake up at 7 on a freaking Saturday because my college, we got a new president, right? So because a new president was elected, we had this like this big inauguration thing. They make a really, really big deal out of it. So I had to wake up at 7, be at the place at 8, and then from 8 till like... 12 or 1, we had um, basically the inauguration, we had lunch with the president, all that stuff. And I'm one of the leaders on campus, so I have to be there. And then after that, at exactly like 1, I was late to it, we have auditions for this big event that's coming up, and I'm one of the judges for it. So I had to be there up till 5 again, and then 5 to 6, we were like tearing down the place, cleaning stuff up. And then 6 to 9, I had to do homework for this assignment that was due at 10. And we finished around like 8.40. And then we, I think me and my roommates, we went out to get a milkshake, came back, and I just crashed. And before I crashed, I was like thinking about what videos to make next. And, um, okay, so before I butcher this guy's name, I'm gonna try and find him. Okay, um, Levinci in my last video said, you know, great video, Nezzy, can we have a video about guild? Like doing guild conquest, which hero should be used and the guild rewards because nowadays people only want players that can do like 20k contribution or damage in the um, in the conquest mode. And so I was like, maybe I'll just do a really quick video on the guild. And then like as I set up to record, like not even joking, like as I um, open up Destiny 6, I get a notification from YouTube saying Milari has posted a video and it said, let's talk guilds. So I was like, well, I don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> but um, OK, just I don't want to do guilds uh, because Milari just did one. If two YouTubers have the same thing, it's not beneficial for you guys. And I haven't watched his video yet, but I think it was like over 40 minutes long. So I know for a fact that he should be going into a lot of detail. And also Milari one is in my guild. So it's very, very counter um, counterintuitive for me to make a video on this. Um, however, I am super excited to show you guys my arena rank and we can do some arena. We'll also be autoing some arena. So that should be fun. But just so that Levinsky doesn't feel like I just completely ignored him, let me just do like my two minute breakdown on guilds, okay? And then you guys can go into Milari's to get like the full, like the full story behind it. Guild is basically something that you guys join um, to have fun, make friends. Uh, it's really a supportive community. It's like you have a family in the game. Oh, who the hell am I kidding? It's nothing about that, guys. No one cares about that stuff in games. It's all about the freaking rewards. So basically, in a guild, you can have the 30 people, right? And there's two things that 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 that, that you can um, accumulate: guild points and guild contribution. Guild points is for the whole guild. Guild, my contribution is, as you can see, just for yourself. So you go into conquest mode, and there are these three levels. Um, I would always suggest to do hard and hell only if you have the right mobs or the right units. I would, if you have nothing, then yeah, sure, go ahead, do the normal thing, uh, do the level 51. But otherwise, I would always recommend do the level 60 or the level 71. Now, I always do level 61. And my rank probably fell, or I'm still number four, but the reason why we have such high conquest points is basically because we use bleed teams or poison teams, basically teams that do damage over time. Also, um, once the timer runs out, you basically have a one minute and 30 seconds to do this, right? And you can do it three times a day. So how I do it is I have three teams, uh, one's a bleed team, the other two are just uh, bruiser and um, damage teams. So the damage and bruiser teams I run in the hell mode because with those same teams, if I run in normal, I can completely kill the boss, 100 to zero him, and I get like nothing back in, in, in return. However, if I use the same team on the hell mode, I'll probably not get the same rewards, but it's almost like double or triple the contribution. I mean, um, I won't, I mean, I'll die, right? I won't kill the boss, not the reward, sorry. But I will basically be getting like double the, the contribution. Um, when you have a bleed team, I would, this is what I do. You guys can call it cheating if you want, but it's really not. Um, I use the bleed team with Natalia, Paper Helga, and the other two can be like anybody else. Basically bleed and activation buff. When I use this team, I use it for the full um, minute and a half, at which point I can apply bleed about three times, right? After I do that, I revive it with 30 rubies and do it again to get double the contribution. 
it's not really pay to win because if you do all the guild quests a day, you will be getting 200 crystals or 200 rubies every day. So using 30 of that just up your uh, contribution is not much of a big deal. So here you guys can chat. Manage guilds, not really useful to you if you're not a guild leader or a guild vice leader. Guild achievements is what you guys can do daily and weekly achievements to get guild contributions. And here is why everybody joins a guild. Basically to get this thing right here, the skill Ragoon summoning, which I have, I almost have not enough to buy one, but I can buy one for the next basically three days. So basically, um, that's the only thing that I would recommend getting. This stuff over here, um, the summoning scrolls and stuff, uh, these aren't five stars. These are Evolved Ragoon's material, like fodder, to make your five stars. So it can be either a four star or a five star. I would recommend not getting them unless you already have purchased your skill Dragoon for the week and you know that you're going to be able to get 12,000 points again. And, you know, and, um,. You're, you're gonna be able to get it again, so you might as well just use it, right? And guild settings, nothing really there unless you are a guild leader or a vice leader. Also forgot to mention this, if you guys go into um, rewards, as you guys do more and more of these quests, you guys can get better and better uh, chests, which basically don't do a lot, don't give you a lot of gold, but they do give you some hero fragments, so it's something's better than nothing. I think it could be better, the rewards could be better, and also if you guys are doing this, like right now I have 11,000, right? But if I keep my fourth place position, I should be getting 4,044 4, at the end of this week, which is kind of like overkill, so I might be able, even able to get one more of those skilled Dragoon packs. Not, not, not skilled Dragoon packs, the skilled Dragoon, Evolved Ragoon, oh my, I'm still, I'm still a bit iffy from last night. <clears throat> but guys, are you guys ready to see my arena rank? This achievement sh here should tell you guys something about it. This is such... Okay. There's a bit of lag over there for a bit. Common Arena, so I was just doing this this morning, and we reached rank 520. Well, I was 520, I obviously dropped. So I used all five swords after I went for like my morning workout, and then right before I started this video, I was like, you know what, might as well just buy 10 more swords, just for the sake of this video. So right now I have a 91% win rate, and my, um, my, uh, <laughs> this is like shameless advertising right here, just sub subscribe at Nezzy. But basically, since we have 10 swords, um, don't get me wrong though, when you win one up here, you only gain like three ranks, maximum seven ranks. That's the most I've seen. I've never had more than seven ranks um, increase when I win something. So of course, if we have 10 swords, we're gonna win everything, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do five swords. We only have 13 minutes left for reset, right? So. No point in doing any more than that. We're going to do five swords manually, and I'm going to try and tell you guys um, what to do, when to do it, basically how to win in Arena, because no one's going to have the same team. The biggest tip that I can give you guys for Arena is, first of all, you need to be adaptive. Like, whatever the other team has, once you see, see the units, because people run a lot of the same units that are meta in this, uh, in this time right now. So you guys will be seeing a lot of uh, Donis, a lot of Carlota, a lot of Kerr, a lot of Tyler even. Some Kronos, um, some Sierras every now and then. I, I even saw uh, Isaac this morning, which was like in the first five stores that I did, I saw an Isaac. So two things, you have to be adaptive. And the other thing which I think is the most important is that you need to learn the flow of your units. Because Destiny 6, um, there's, uh, it's so hard to awaken your heroes. It's easy to evolve them, but it's super hard to, uh, it's super hard to awaken them, right? So that's why you're probably going to be stuck with, like, like, I'm still stuck with, like, the, like, the same six or seven monsters or the units that I have evolved. I'm still stuck with them because I don't have legendary awakening materials to make them awaken six times. So if you're using the same team again and again and again, you guys can learn a certain flow, right? So basically the flow that I've, um, or what I've started to notice is that if I land, um, if I have my Adonis shield up, like I can use it and I have his B up, I use the B first. And if the B stuns, um, it will do an attack break for 14 seconds. When that 14 seconds reaches 12 seconds, they are no longer stunned. So I know that at 12 seconds, I need to hit my shield and bring the shield up. Because if they get stunned and I use my shield, 
there's no point. That's two seconds of them being stunned, two seconds off of my shield that I'm taking no damage because they can give me no damage. I just wasted two seconds on my shield right there. Another way, like just a vice versa, um, or like the exact opposite scenario would be when I have my shield up, like I have my shield currently, I just activated it and my stun just came off cooldown, right? I'm not gonna use it now because even if I stun them now, it's, there's no point. That's a song, by the way, it's not the audio. So with Adonis's B, what happens is that there's like a one second delay before the sword drops and stuns everybody, right? So what I do is I wait for my shield to be at one second and then I hit the thing. I hit the second ability to drop the sword. Now you're not always gonna stun, but if you do stun, this is like the most ideal situation because the drop takes about one second. Like there's like a one second delay. So the moment your shield comes off, the sword drops and stuns them. Basically, your 8 second shield is now like a 10 second shield, not really, but it's like an 8 second shield and like a 2 second stun. You guys get it? So we only have 10 minutes left. Enough talk. Let's get into this. Let's see if we can get into top 500. We're already, however, though, in Champions League. Like, I can't even believe that we reached here, but oh well. Alright, so we are still using the same team. I'll try to commentate as much as I can, but in all honesty, guys, it happens so fast. It's very hard to commentate with these, like, because some matches are over in, like, 30 or 40 seconds. It's all about split-second decisions. So we're going to manual the first few. They have a lot of health. So I'm going to drop my stun right here. It landed. So I could use my B right now, but my shield's almost off cooldown, so I'm not going to use it. And now that everything is on cooldown, I'm going to use Jun's B. Everything is still on a cooldown, so I'm going to use Jun's B again. Get things off cooldown. I still have my shield left. Never mind. We just won. So, like, the reason why I'm so comfortable with this team is because from rank 5000 to rank almost 500 now, this is all I've been doing. And as you guys just saw, we just got, like, three ranks. It's so hard to gain ranks now. It's not even funny. Hopefully we can get, like, 1-7 or 1-5. It'd make things so much more easier. Alright, so they have Adonis. Oh, this is the most cancerous team there is. Please stun. Okay. This stuff off cooldown. Let's shield up. Damage buff. Nuke him down. Everything's on cooldown, so let's get cooldowns reduced again. Shield just came off, so I'm gonna drop my sword, but they had the invulnerability buff. Always pay attention to what buffs the other team has, guys. It's Super important. I don't want to use my nuke because I don't have the damage buff. I was so afraid that the Adonis was just going to buff up at that very instance, but nope, we nuked them down. A Jun's B, uh, or Jun's A, automatically does super, super high damage, but with the damage buff, you just do super, super, super high damage. So, it's all about timing too. Um, it's all about timing, actually. What am, what am I saying when it's all about timing, too? There's not nothing else to it. Strategy, uh, timing, know what the opponent does and know what you can do. Know how they can counter you so that you can build counters to their counters. So dropping the sword now. We did get the stun. So at 12 seconds, I'm not going to buff now, but now I'm going to buff because they started moving. So I'm going to do this to get stuff off cooldown. Buff up. Paper fans B. I'm gonna drop the shield now. No, we can't. Alright, so we gotta have to buff up right now. If we can. Okay. We don't have a buff, so I don't wanna use this. I said I don't wanna use it! Oh my god! Stun, stun, stun! Crap, 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 crap. This is bad. They have so much crowd control. It's not even funny. Um, the Kerr? He has stuns on his A and B, and his B has three stacks. That's basically, that's basically like what, um, four stuns if he lands them. Of course, not a hundred percent chance of landing them all. Strike. Is that invulnerability shield? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We're not gonna take any risks. <laughs> this match is going on for a long time. I dropped the thing now so that there's, uh, their shield just ran out. We're going to buff up our own shield. All right, I think we have one shot. So I got to get this over here. Paper friends, B up. Nuke. Whew. 008.
what could have gone very wrong there is if all right we got six ranks what could have gone the worst thing that could have happened there is their um their shaolin lands the strip and stuns me and then by ai miracle their adonis stuns me and then by some ai miracle uh, uh, uh not 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 adonis um Kerr has all of his stacks left, and then Kerr stuns me like four times in a row, at which point I'm just like, there's nothing I can do about it. So we're stunned. We just got our buff removed. All right, shield. Oh my lord. This is what I'm talking, oh, you, you guys see this? This is cancer right here. This right there was cancer. I don't even think we can win. Oh, oh, that was awesome. I'm sorry if 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 that was uh, oh my god. All right, that was an amazing. Give me something. All right, five ranks. Okay. Wait. Uh, how many? We started this with like zero win streak, right? Okay. So five more minutes left. All right. All right. All right. Almost top 500. Once we get to top 500, I want to do at least like two autos just for the heck of it, just so that you guys can have some fun too. Oh my god, that last one was way too close. I, th I thought we, we were dead, because that AI was just damn good. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to drop the stun now, because I still have six more seconds of my shield. And when I said one second of my shield, I'm going to drop the stun. My shield comes off, I stun them. I mean, they died, but you guys get my point, right? I know I'm saying this a lot, but it's very important that you understand the flow of your team. Because the only thing that's going to stay consistent is your team. Everything else, it might not be important. Alright, Jun versus Jun. This one looks like a... I don't even care what the other team is because I don't I have no idea what the other team is, right? All I know is that they have Jun, I have Jun. So let's see whose AI is smarter. Oh my lord. Alright, auto. Buff, buff, Adonis, buff, what are you doing? No, Adonis, buff, man, buff. What are you, oh my lord. Adonis, you, no, oh my god. John just used this, uh, the the cooldown, and there was like nothing to be had on, oh wait, hold a minute now. Wait, hold a minute, wait a minute. What is this AI? What is this AI? Oh my god. I thought we were dead. What just happened? He's running the he's running the other Soho in the striker. By the way, it was a strike. It was the Soho with the red hair. So not the Soho that does the defense buff. I just did a video on. Mada, Mada Dane. What does that mean, guys? Anyone know what that means? Mada Dada Dane. All right. All right. Do we auto this? Yeah. Okay. Fine. We'll auto this one too because it's John v John. <clears throat> Please use a shield first, and then do the cooldown reduction. Please, AI, have a brain. Oh my lord. They have Paper Helga too, so that's going to be what's uh, that's going to be our that's what's going to be causing all that trouble. Because Paper Helga with the activation, they're basically going to be making sure that Kerr lands all of his stuns. Or oh, invulnerability shield though. Use it, use it, use it, use it, use the B, John, 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 use your B, John, use your B. Oh my lord, oh, wait, wait, we still have the invulnerability shield. Okay, okay, we, we, we resist. Okay, wait. What is this team? I feel like I'm winning more than I did on manual. Like, what is this? We're top 500 and we just got plus 15 rank. All right, I think it's safe to say that we are going to end in top 500. Should I even bother manualing anymore? Alright, unless we lose and we lose like a ton of rank, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, I think we have like three minutes left now. Let me just check the clock. Yeah, we have like two minutes and some, so, something left. Okay, they are running... They're running the the vampire guy. Have not seen him at all in Arena, to be honest. This is the first time I've seen him. Or maybe I have seen him. We just buffed and they just stunned us. Like, we did the buff, and they just stunned us. Alright, but we stunned them back. We stunned them back. Paper friend nukes without anything. Without any, um... 
paper fan nuked without any buff so gg gg we're stunned again and they removed our buffs gg we got the shield up is this gonna do anything we use the nuke again without any buffs this ai is too good are we gonna win or are we gonna lose i i have no idea wait our strike came in first wait who's their striker because my strike is like seven thousand they have who is that oh, i think it's um it's the chick with the um, with the with the metal wings i think john use your b john use your b john use your b it's the only thing that's on cooldown oh my lord All right, I swear to God, I'm not touching crap, all right? It's on auto. You guys can see the skill auto, right? And if I did click, you guys would see this, like, like these dots, just like these um, these yellow sparks, right? This is, this is such crap. Like, what the hell? Is my team really this good? <laughs> this is probably the last one that we have time for, yeah. We have less than a minute left. We have less than a minute left. Excuse me, we have less than a minute left. You have to get onto the damn fight. Okay. Looking at this team, we could lose if Julian ignores be ignores defense twice and crits us for like mad damage. However, if we can just get one shield up, all right, we got the one shield up. Hopefully that means that we win. Yeah, we win. I'm pretty sure we win. Yeah, it's just way too much damage. She who is that girl on the striker position? Everybody's running her. And so once we once we um, achieve... Okay, so... That's it. That's it. We had one more sword remaining. But it was kind of fair, right? Like, like I hope you guys enjoyed that auto ses session. We didn't lose a single auto. What is this, what is this bullcrap, guys? Come on. This, this is a mad voodoo right here. It's intense, man. Okay, that's fair. So we can't, uh, I don't know how long that reset time, oh, I, th I think it's at 12 o'clock, so it's like a one hour. All right, so it's a brand new day. Is there anything in the market worth buying? I'd buy that. I would not buy anything else. I'm really looking forward to having like a paper cur or a scissor Carlota. But anyway, guys, super, super sorry about yesterday. It just real life stuff happens at some point. And, you know, I just couldn't, couldn't, uh, couldn't make you guys a, a new video. But hopefully this makes up for it. If I have time today, no promises. If I have time today or tomorrow, I will be releasing the new four star uh, guild. Or no, four star, um, what is it called? Four star guide. And it's gonna be on the Inua faction, I think. Yeah, we're, we're just going in, in order right now. So it's going to be in, in Inua. So people that have Kerr or that, you know, have Kerr and don't know what to do with him. Wait for like a day or something. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you guys did. Leave a like, leave a comment. Any questions you guys have, put it down at hashtag Nezi. And until next time... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, before I forget. Before I forget... Um, we are planning to do this thing where like the whole guild we're planning to wait until Benito resets so th Resets on the 20th of February, right? So on the 20th of February Or the 21st of February 6 o'clock uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time We are all going to go into a channel and let's just make the channel right now the channel is going to be just click here switch channel go to group 9 and click on 99 so that's basically channel 999 so we're all going to come up here and we will be doing um mass summons okay i don't i don't expect a lot of people but if uh half the guild shows up and like a bunch of random people show up we probably will have like 30 or 40 people in total so if we all just do like uh one 3500 summon it could be pretty fun and hopefully the next uh don't come if the next hero that's being featured is already someone that you have okay but anyway, I just thought it'd be fun to do something with the community. 
So anyway, guys, until next time, Neon out.